Okay. Uh, my name is Debbie McCauley. I'm an elementary school principal in a rural school district that oversees 2,000 employees and 2,500 students, students in grades pre-K um, pre through 12. I'm delighted to have an opportunity to advocate on behalf of both former and current students with disabilities in the state of Alabama. I initially wanted to lobby on, on behalf of all students with disabilities in terms of teacher preparation for inclusive education um, as it pertains to um, curriculum programs in um, colleges and universities to help prepare teachers to be able to deal with students with um, severe disabilities. Um, I've actually changed my goal. I've had several and I decided to change it because I feel that this one is, um, is I strongly feel that this is attainable. Um, currently, all of the students uh, with severe developmental disabilities who live in Woodlands District are having to be bused 15 to 20 miles to another school within our school district. The, um, this is done because central office directors say um, that we don't have an adequate place or the personnel to provide the services that they need. I've been looking into different buildings and rooms on our campus that could potentially be used um, to serve as a self-contained classroom. In addition, our playground is not an inclusive playground and that is a major concern for me as well. My goal and purpose is to create a self-contained classroom and build an inclusive playground um, setting for our students with severe developmental disabilities. This will give them an opportunity to stay close to their home and have equal access to the playground at um, Woodland Elementary School. So I'm going to advocate for um, the creation of a self-contained classroom, um, the creation of an, inc an inclusive playground um, at my school as well. Um, I, I am currently partnering with universities and colleges across the state of Alabama to recruit and retain special education teachers who will be instrumental in serving as classroom teachers in a self-contained classroom. I would also be um, advocating for our state and district to provide adequate funding for yearly teacher and administrative professional development training to educate students with severe developmental disabilities. I will also, um, in addition to that, um, advocate and ask that our state as well as district provide twice as much funding to cover education and supplemental services for students with severe developmental disabilities. And my overall aim statement in my goal and what I want to accomplish on behalf of students with severe disabilities and all students with disabilities um, is by December 23rd, um, 2023. I, Dr. Debbie McCauley, will help create a self-contained classroom at Woodland Elementary School for students with severe disabilities who live in the Woodland Elementary School District. 95% of the students will, will be able to attend Woodland Elementary School and the parents in our community will be relieved of driving 15 to 20 miles to take their children to school. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>